Hi there, this is Frances Snyder with Royal LePage Royal City Realty here in Guelph. We are in the midst of spring and spring season has begun. The known saying, April showers bring May flowers is holding true so far with all the rain days we've had this month. However, the real estate market in the region is still on fire and no amount of rain is going to put that fire out in the next couple weeks. The strong seller's market continues in Wellington County with significant increases in sales activity and continued demand for real estate across the region, putting further pressure on the market and on the typical buyer's price point. We continue to see this demand across the Tri-City region, but let's delve into real Wellington County numbers for a snapshot. The year-to-date sales volume for end of March 2021 is a whopping 86.14% over 2020 numbers, where 2021 sales volume to date is already over 915 million at the end of March, over March 2020 year-to-date sales volume of 492 million. The unit sales were at 1165 for the county, which is up 44.9% over March 2020 year-to-date numbers of 804 units sold. With the region in and out of lockdown for early part of the year, supply of homes for sale was at a low, while buyers still scour the region for potential purchases. In March, home sales volumes were up 125.91% to 442 million over the 195 million of last March 2020. And unit sales follow this upward movement being up 72.5% with 547 units sold compared to 292 units for last March. Further, with 695 new listings up 47.56% from a year ago and at 78.71% sales to listing ratio up 11.4%, the real estate market continued to show some major effects from anxious and excited buyers still looking to get into the market in this region. The continued spike in buyer activity brought the year-over-year median sales price to $718,000 at the end of March 2021, up 25.09% from 2020 median of 574,000 just one year ago. And year-to-date average sales prices continued the trend increasing 27.1% over 2020, resulting in an average sales price of 773,167 for year-to-date at the end of March 2021, versus the average price of 608,142 at the start of the pandemic just a year ago. Although 2020 continued to show shorter average days on market, 2021 is proving to show an even shorter turnaround time moving into the end of the first quarter. Average days on market at this time was 17 days at the end of March 2021 versus 28 days at the end of March 2020. So homes are continuing to move very quickly on the market and in less than three weeks on average. Regardless of the lockdown due to the pandemic, Wellington County continues to show a very strong seller's market, which is continuing to push up prices in Wellington County. The average year-to-date sales prices in Wellington County for freehold homes is now 853,827. Condominium homes is 562,271, and vacant land sales is 748,320. With our economy responding to the third wave of COVID pandemic effects, things may change slightly in the region if interest rates rise or if our current lockdown con- continues past what is forecast. However, for now, real estate prices in Wellington County are continuing the rise and, as always, prove to be a safe and secure investment. Keep healthy, stay safe, and hope to chat soon.